So Fontaine is the next nation and I really wish to see a lot of new characters and I hope they will be really interesting. But since Fontaine is still a few months away, so I'm going to share with you some different element Fontaine characters in my opinion that I think should be added in Genshin Impact with their powers explained. These are characters that I came up with my imagination and preferences. So I think these characters would be fun and interesting to play with and would bring more variety and creativity to the game. So without further ado, let's get started. My first character is Lucian. So Lucian is a cryo character who uses a rapier sword as his weapon. He is a duelist who challenges anyone who dares to insult his honor or his family and he is also proud and noble but also has a cold and arrogant side. His elemental skill allows him to create a frozen barrier that blocks attacks and damage enemies. His elemental burst summons a blizzard that freezes enemies and deals continuous cryo damage. My next character is Elise. So Elise is a pyro character who uses a paintbrush as a weapon. She's an art Artist who paints fiery scenes and portraits with her oil paints. She is passionate and expressive, but also has a hot tempered and impulsive side. She can use her paintbrush to splash enemies with flaming oil that ignites them and applies different effects depending on the color. Her elemental skill allows her to paint a fire shield that protects allies or fire trap that explodes enemies. Her elemental burst creates a giant oil painting that burns enemies and buffs allies. Interesting character, right? My third character is Lee. So Leo is an electro character who uses a flute as his weapon. He is a musician who plays electrifying melodies with his flute. He is lively and friendly but also has a prankster and adventurous side. He can use his flute to shock enemies with bolts of lightning or sound waves that damage them. His elemental skill allows him to play different tunes that have different effects on allies or enemies. His elemental burst unleashes a thunderous symphony that damage enemies and heals allies. My fourth character is Iris. So Iris is a Hydro character who uses a parasol as a weapon. She is a spy who works for Fontaine Intelligence Agency. She is smart and stealthy but also has a loyal and courageous side. She can use her parasol to hit enemies with water droplets or needles that damage them. Her elemental skill allows her to open her parasol and glide in the air or dive underwater. Her elemental burst activates a hidden device in her parasol that releases a torrent of water that damage enemies and debuffs them. My fifth character is Felix. So Felix is a dendro character who also uses a rapier as his weapon. He is a botanist who studies and collects various plants and flowers with his rapier and he is curious and knowledgeable but also has a timid and cautious side. He can use his weapon to slice enemies with sharp leaves and vines. His elemental skill allows him to create a plant barrier that blocks attacks and damages enemies. His elemental burst summons a giant flower that heals allies and poison enemies. My next character is Kai. So Kai is a pyro character who uses a katana as his weapon. He is a samurai who follows the way of the sword with honor and discipline. He is loyal and brave but also has a fiery and proud side. He can use his katana to slash enemies with blazing cuts and sparks. His elemental skill allows him to ignite his katana and unleash a flaming slash that damages enemies and leaves behind a trail of fire. His elemental burst summons a meteor that crashes down on enemies and deals massive pyro damage. Just like Zhongli but yes I need more characters who can use meteor. And my final character is Eevee. So Eevee is an electro character who uses a whip as a weapon. She is a thief who steals valuable items and information with a whip. She is clever and agile but also has a playful and daring side. She can use a whip to lash out at enemies or swing around the battlefield, allows her to create an electro coil that damages enemies and pulls them closer. Her elemental burst activates a hidden device in her whip that releases a surge of electricity that damage enemies and stuns them. And yeah, these are all the characters and they are just my opinions and preferences. So so feel free to disagree or agree with me. I think these characters would be fun and interesting to play with and would bring more variety and creativity to the game. Fontaine is a city of water and justice but it can also have different elements that fits its theme and culture. I am looking forward to see what Mihoyo will do to Fontaine and its character in the future updates. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and also let us know in the comment section what do you think of these characters or if you have any other character suggestions for new characters from Fontaine or other regions then do tell me in the comment section and yeah thanks for watching